The first whale that I saw in the harbor was a, a humpback whale. It was just a glimpse, but it was so exciting to see these with New York City in the background. And so that just said, this is it. They're coming to me. <laughs> this is wonderful. Gotham Whale is a research organization that partners with a whale watch boat and we keep track of where we see whales, what their behaviors are, latitude and longitude, the precise locations of where we see them, and we keep a database of this information so that we build a picture of what whales are doing. It was unusual to see whales in this area prior to 2011. There weren't many whales. An occasional whale kind of passed through, but it was not a feeding ground. I had heard that the New York Harbor was so poisonous that if a police officer fell into the Hudson River, it was a mandatory two-day stay in the hospital for observation. That's how seriously sick our waters were. Somewhere around 2010 or 11, the whale populations really started growing in this area. And I think once the whales realized this was a good place to stay, they told their friends about it. We noticed the uptick in the number of whales almost immediately. The first season that we went out was very meager. We saw only five sightings that, that season. Every year since, it more than doubled. The Hudson River is a major influence to the area where we see these whales. It's bringing now nutrients down out into the ocean to feed the menhaden, rather than bringing the pollution down that keeps all the fish away. People only protect what they care about, and they only care about what they know about. So it's important to educate the people about what's around here, and the best way to do is just show it to them. For the humpback whale, scientists primarily use the pattern on the underside of their tail or fluke for identification. We try to photograph that image for each whale we encounter. So we're looking at that pattern. Also the trailing edge, which is the outline of the fluke, is also very important. On every cruise, we keep a data sheet. They keep track of the latitude and longitude at what point they see the whale, the behaviors of the whale, and also what we're able to do is identify the whales as individuals. The numbers have increased a hundredfold. So that's just amazing to me. The fact that these whales are coming here to feed is also quite remarkable. Usually the young calves learn where the feeding grounds are by undertaking that very long migratory journey with their mothers from the mating and calving ground where they were born, which in our area is the Caribbean. The whales have decided there's no point swimming any further north. We've got food here. Why would you commute any further than you need to? So the whales are staying around longer and they know that this is a good area. So we're seeing repeat sightings of same whales year after year because they've learned this is a great place to come to feed. I think the progress for conservation is very encouraging. We like to think we are telling a good news story. I think downstream, long term in the future, we're going to realize how important it is to protect the environment and we're going to see a resurgence of the, the energy that we saw in the 1960s to really get rally around conservation. It will not only protect our whales, but also it has an effect on us. We have to realize we're part of this environment. So if we protect the environment, we're doing good things for ourselves as well.
Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.